Hello and welcome. Right, in this video, we're gonna unbox and take a closer look at this, which is the new Hornby Railroad Class 37 Comet. And this is a Railroad Plus model. The number is R30185, and it's in the BR livery. And I paid £27.29 from the modelcenter.com. So as usual, what we're going to do is take it out of the box, take a closer look, go over the features, do a quick test over the points, a run around the layout, and then we'll summarise at the end. Okay, let's take it out of the box. Right, so let's start this end. Oh, that's it. Pull it out. Put the outer box to one side. Here we've got the operating and maintenance instructions. Put those to one side. Turn it around. Take that down. And then we'll lift Comet out of the box. The inner plastic foam. Put the box to one side, then we'll put Comet back on the tracks. And there we go, out of the box. So let's go in for a closer look. Right, let's get closer. Now it does look good. It says it's got an enhanced livery. It looks pretty nice, especially for a, uh, a railroad model, which is under a hundred pounds. It doesn't have working lights, but I believe you can buy the lighting kits from eBay for about 18 pounds, which includes delivery. But it does look sort of really nicely detailed. I do like it. I've already got one of these Railroad Plus 37s in the Colas livery, which is a sound fitted version but this one is just a uh, at the moment it's DC but it does have a DCC decoder socket so I could add sound or a DCC chip later on but no I really like this I do like class 37s so let's just turn it over I mean look at that just the lettering comet there does look nice. Just turn it over, see if it looks the same on the other side. Yeah. It's got the grills all look nice. And the vents, the glazing, the doors, the step. Handles obviously, there's no separately fitted detail parts, it's just obviously molded and painted, but it does look good for the price. No, yeah, <laughs> so on first look, I'm really happy with it so far. So, let's now take a look at some of the features. test time so let's go across these points here so we'll switch tracks and we'll go at a nice steady speed so let's bring a comet across not too bad so far bit of a tiny uh, slow down there but not too bad it does have traction tires on it so that may be causing some of the problem. So let's try and bring it back across again. And 
And here comes Comet again. Oh, still stopping. Yeah, and it's going across. So not as smooth as I'd like it, but it does go across and it may get better as it runs in. So let's just switch it here. Just see if we can go straight across these points without any problems. And so far, so good. And we're across. And we'll just go quickly back again. No problem. Nice one. Excellent. So fairly happy with that. Hopefully it will improve after a really good run in. So let's now go for a run around the layout. Okay, so we've got Comet coupled up to some intercity Mark II coaches. So let's now go for a run around the, uh, we're gonna go around the inside track, which has second radius curves. So we're just gonna give it another test on those. So let's go for it. So we're gonna pull away nice and slowly. Right, I'm not gonna go the right way, yep. Nice steady speed. Yep, seems to be running well on the first bend. Past the garage. Yep, coming over the first crossing. The back there. Oh, I didn't turn the windmill on, let's turn that on. Trying to keep up. Into the tunnel. This is going well so far. Coming out, sort of past the country station. And over the next crossing. Excellent. Running nicely. And we'll go around once more. Excellent. <coughs> Seems to be running really well at the moment. Along the back. Into the tunnel again. And hopefully out, yep. And what we're gonna do now is try and pull in slowly into the station. So slowing down. That's it. Run complete. So what do I think this model? I really like it. It's got a nice livery. The price is reasonable for it, for what it is. I mean, this is a basically a, a new budget class 37. There are other manufacturers out there that are selling more highly detailed 37s where you've got separately fitted parts and lighting. But this is what it is. It's a great budget model class 37. Um, I'm intending to get the lighting kit at some point and add possibly one of the new um, Hornby sound decoders. And I am a great 37 fan. I've already got one of these models in a different livery. That one was a sound fitted version. And I'm really glad I bought this. There was some tiny, tiny issues going over the um, the points when switching tracks but i'm hoping when it's running a bit more that will resolve itself but i'll have to see with that but really happy to have it and i would if they did another livery i think they do there's another in the city livery I would likely buy another one so all i'll say now is thanks for watching